Today I'm going to talk about a simple upgrade for the 5012 type pocket, so-called 100 megahertz oscilloscope. I use it all the time. I find it very helpful. Um, it works. It's been extensively reviewed on the EEV blog and Learn Electronics and others, so I'm not going to go into that specific detail, but one of the shortcomings of this uh, device is uh, the battery. It was originally specified to come out with a higher capacity battery before it was released. Evidently they couldn't get it to fit in the case and also those batteries don't seem to have a long lifetime. Um, I'll show you what I've done as an alternative to increase the capacity um, of the battery on this device. This pocket oscilloscope is available on eBay, Amazon, many of the Chinese outlets at a very reasonable price um, so it's a widely available uh, pocket oscilloscope. Here's a look at the original release they said it's equipped with a built-in 5000 milliamp hour high quality LiPo battery um, ultimately I guess they couldn't get that to fit they ended up using a 3000 milliamp hour battery and uh, I've gone through two of those already. This one here is the original one that came with the unit uh, that one died within about three, three to six months. This is the one I replaced it with. Um, didn't get much time out of that, probably, I don't know, six months. So I'll show you what I've done as an alternative. I found this battery on Amazon. It's a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Basically, it's a significantly larger than the 3,000 milliamp hour battery lengthwise not widthwise and thickness it's actually thinner so it fits right in the case and it seems to fit perfectly so this is a uh, an option for seventeen dollars that gives you uh, you know a bump up in capacity from three thousand four thousand milliamp hours and it fits so this is a potential option and I'll show you what it looks like in the case so there it is in the case and when you position it like this, there's just enough room for the BNC jack to fit flush and let the case close completely. In the ad, um, it shows like a 2019 date code battery, but the reality of it is this one's actually date coded July of 2020. Here it is back together. I don't even have the screws in yet, but you can see the case fits flush. So, anyways, works for me. Hope you enjoyed the video.